Star Wars Force Arena players, welcome to this brand new Let's Play video. Today we're doing some 1 vs 1 and then there's a game at the end of 2v2 with Cassian and K2SO. So the decks will be slightly different for 2v2. In 1 vs 1, Rebels at the moment seem to have a lot of Swarm Troopers. In actual fact, even the Empire are using Swarm decks as well. And what that means is relatively low cost decks as you saw at the start of the video and then you just drop down your troopers and make a push on a turret when a chance comes up. But in 2v2 you need something a bit heavier like a tank for example which is what we'll replace the Wookiee Warrior with. So right now I just want to sit back and see what Vader's got. I'm not sure what level he is. He's level 2 so he's already high level than I am. I don't know what level he is in terms of his turret. Um, I do die there because I'm relatively weak as a character. So I drop down to the K2SO just to taunt and keep everyone away from my turret. Vader does an airstrike and now I've got a drop, chance to drop two Wookiee Warriors because my deck's relatively cheap. He's level 10, so he's two levels above me. So I'll do a couple of shots on the turret there, mindful of what's behind me. Notice where I put my grenade behind me and behind my troopers. And what that can do is then he can then throw the grenade down, taking out any additional troopers that, that Vader may throw. So he's died again. So this is a chance for us to make a quick push. Do as much damage as you possibly can. He throws in a turret behind me. I put down K2SO to help tank that turret. And that was a good enough job as he taunts Vader and Stormtroopers. And my airstrike will follow up and wipe out most of those troopers there. So the Wookiee Warrior is doing his bit, his bit there. See, in 1v1, in one one, you don't need to be on the, on, the, on the front foot all the time. Especially when you are low level. And right now, 1v1 in the lower tiers, you are going to face up against players from bronze level and even tier 5. I've even had a tier 6 in one of my games which I couldn't even believe my eyes. So you just have to be patient. If you commit too many troops early, early doors you will end up losing. So right now what I've done is here I've got Vader being chased and I dropped my Wookiee Warrior to tank on his bottom right turret and my Pathfinder there will now take on the light tank because Vader tried to do a counter push up the top left. But I don't need to overcommit. I don't need to get too excited because you know, there's a minute to go, we're going to go into double energy, so Vader might make a big push now with double energy coming up. And again, this is where you can throw down more troopers to just defend and keep Vader away. He's only got a little bit of health left, so we will kill him, we will kill him again, but he just slains those Twi'lek warriors who just stabs him with a knife. <laughs> oh dear, bless them. But they do die. He throws down a Dewback now. So again, you want to make sure you've got all your troopers behind the Dewback. So you've got a Wookiee Warrior to tank it and a grenade there throwing a grenade, obviously, doing his business. And I'm just out of turret range, poking away, and then enough troopers there to take Vader down. So right now, I've got a good push going as well now. Bottom right, 30 seconds to go. Game's going to be one. K2SO tanking. Twilight Rebels are in there. I'll be doing some damage on the turret. And Pathfinders too. In comes an airstrike to kill everybody. But with just 20 seconds left to go, that is going to be a GG right there, I think. Again, not getting too excited with 15 seconds to go. You don't want to overcommit again in case you could lose to a push and Vader can bring the game back to 1-1 and get a strong push going. So right now it's a case of just defending. Six seconds to go. I will airstrike this tight. Will it be enough to just to um, take it down? Yes it is. Oh, like Vader dies actually and it wasn't enough time. So that's a GG right there. I could have used the airstrike to drop it on his push um, but with just seconds to go there's no way on earth he, he would have done enough damage to, to warrant that. So it's 1-0 win. And that's a GG right there. So he's tier 4. Um, so this, this character's tier 3. He's already a high tier, man. As you can see, his units are much stronger than mine. So being a bit more defensive, a bit more patient, means that we can win the match. Which is good. Let's pick up our reward. Thank you very much. And move into another game of 1 versus 1. And then there'll be a 2v2. I did edit the 2v2 a bit because the queue time was a little bit longer. Um, so up against Sif and Quister. So again... When you play against these characters, everyone's going to be different, because bearing in mind, everyone has different play styles. But you must play the same way, you must be patient in your approach to these games. Now, Cassian has got a better range, so he can command a bit further up the battlefield. If I was against Cassian, I'd be sitting a bit further back, so he can't do any pop shots. So right here, great value there, so he's got a sand trooper, storm troopers, so the airstrike doesn't even kill him. Wow. Um, so for the energy cost of that, Three, I took out six, almost six energy cost worth. So I'm keeping the quiz, Grand Quizzer busy. He's level 11, wow. Busy down this right lane. And top left, the Wookiee Warrior with Rebel Troopers backing him up are doing a push. But I am in a little bit of trouble here. 
but the Granny Queen is keen to kill me, which she does do, but my Grenada is doing enough damage there, and it should hopefully, and he does, burn down the Grand Inquisitor. But as you can see, top left, look at the amount of damage we've done on that first initial push. So what I'm going to do now is, because I know he's powerful, and I know he'll probably take down a turret in one go, I just want to keep this right lane busy, and then just probe top left to get the win. With two minutes left to play. Again, I don't want to overcommit. My troop is because he might throw down something we haven't seen it, like a walker, for example, or something a lot more stronger than that, which is probably a couple of light tanks. Or there's a walker now, speaking of the devil, with a sand trooper. So the sand trooper will just flatten everything. So there's no point in dropping troopers there, because he'll just kill him. So what I've done is I threw down K2SO to taunt, then threw down my troopers to cover. And as you can see, the sand trooper then cannot kill my troopers, but, but that is a level 5 ATST, and that will do significant damage to my turret but we managed just to fend it off. So really, bottom right is looks looking a bit weak now, but top left, we have got it in the bag. We don't need to take it down just yet, but I've thrown a Wookiee Warrior top left just to put him under a little bit of pressure. And as you can see, the bottom right lane now, my Warriors have done enough damage to give us the game. I think it'll be easy now. He'll take this turret down, there's no doubt about it. I'm quite happy to just let him have it because we have taken top left and we will take top right because he does die again. And as we move into double energy, it's going to be a case of taking this turret and then letting this bottom right one go and then defending top left and defending the middle one. So he can't make a push anywhere. See the sand trooper there? Here he comes with a push. So I'll throw down my rookie warrior. Grenade just to the side. In comes an airstrike, which wipes out all my troopers. This turret's going to be gone. There. Oh, but K2SO taunts him away. And that was a brilliant place in there of K2SO. Taunting away the Sith Inquisitor, who then does actually die. So what a taunt does is, it means that when you see that alert sign above his head, that means all the units will attack K2SO and nothing else, and the player can't do anything about it, the troopers can't attack anything else. So he's a valuable player to drop down at the moment of desperation. There's no point throwing him down on the battlefield randomly, because you could use him as a last resort in terms of defence. So with just 10 seconds left to go now, this game looks like it's going to be over. That was a waste of airstrike, because he could have took his turret down on that airstrike and got one turret to give, him, give it a 2-1. But it's going to be game over, I think, here. With one second left to go, that is a very GG. Three levels above me, he was. So notice how I control the game. I didn't overcommit too much. I just kept control, chipping away at the leader, throwing down units. Because the deck is so cheap, you can put down a lot of troopers, and it puts him under so much pressure that he can't cope. Look at the level on his cards. Wow. But that was a really good win for us. So we'll take that, and I'll take the reward. And when I get a jackpot... Will I get a jackpot? Oh, I'll get... Oh, 1,500. It's normally 500, but we'll take that. We'll take that as well. So what I'll do is I'll share the replay. And when you share the replay, you can see what, what tier they're actually from. I think he's from tier 4. And he actually is he's borderline tier 5. And look at me, level 3, 1 star. The difference there in, in that. And these are the sort of games you're going to be facing a lot at the moment. That's mostly down to lack of players um, in the game, which is a sad thing because the game's awesome. So let's move into... Uh, 2v2 game. Now what I've done is here, I've taken out the Wookiee Warrior and put in a tank. And that way then you drop down a tank and a grenade behind to support. And what the grenade will do is just mop up any troopers in front of a tank, allowing the tank a clear path towards a turret in an ideal world. It isn't always like that and it isn't always going to work like that. But that's the sort of thing you want to do. And then coming from the middle or from the lane, you've been pushing a turret and do some chip damage on the turret to take it down and win the match. So as I've talked about in all my 2v2 games, I tend to wait to see what my partner does before I make any moves, but Vader's looking ultra aggressive already. So he throws down an airstrike in expectation that I'm going to throw down some troops, but I waited. Watch K2SO. He now taunts those heavy gunners, but they will tear him to pieces because they really are strong. Bottom right lane, that big red thing there is an AT ST walker, but Sabrina's got it under control with a mortar. Barry is doing well, but I'll throw down some pathfinders. Pathfinders are great counters to light tanks and walkers. Really strong unit when you level them up. But here comes Vader again now. I'll throw down my tank. He's got a turret there, which is interesting. So really, you don't want to drop any troopers down just yet because they'll just die. So notice how the mortar there is doing damage on that turret. So once that turret's been destroyed, you can, you're then safe to make a push. So what I'll do, I'll help. No, I won't drop my airstrike there, there's no point. So I throw down K2SO in front of a tank. Grenade is behind the tank. Uh, troopers behind the tank. But then there is an AT-SC walker who's going to lock onto that mortar turret. So I'll 
I'm all going to do is do some pop damage on this. Can't really afford to let it go onto the turret. But as you can see, bottom right, Sabrina's done really well there. But top left, that tank is moving along there, top left. And I've thrown down a grenade behind it. So those two together will do some serious amounts of damage on that turret. So he's got a repair droid. Ideally, you want to take care of them. Um, she threw down her wiring bomber, which has cost energy four. No point me wasting my airstrike two. Take out the heavy gunners with my airstrike, which is perfect. Leaving Vader absolutely helpless as my Pathfinder do some more damage on him. He will make a charge to that turret. He force pulls poor Barry, and Barry runs back bravely. <laughs> And they get absolutely headbutted out of the way by the Jewback, who does die. But K2SO now is making a good push top left. It is 1-0, moving to double energy now. So the game looks as good as one because they haven't done much damage to our turrets. With Cassian, you can control the middle a bit. Because of his range, you can sort of sit in the middle, drop down some troopers and really lay on some pressure down the side of the left lane, your lane, and also from the middle too, without overcommitting yourself. So in goes the light tank, Vader's just dying, there he is, there's not much you can do really. Heavy gunners, watch for them. They will just decimate everything. Grenade behind my light tank, as you can see. Now the heavy gunners will counter your tank, so be, be mindful of that. K2SO, in goes a gunk joy that just dies before we can get to the turret. But with just 25 seconds to go, we should get this turret now. K2SO's going there, Sabine's going in there, light tank in there, grenade in there. Rebel troopers, Y-wing, 2-0. And now we move into the last 15 seconds of the match good as game over and that would be a good win so in 2v2 it doesn't matter what level you are it doesn't matter what level your cards are because everyone is equal the only thing you have to have are the cards obviously if you don't have that, a particular type of card yet unlocked you can't use it in in 2v2 but when you do everything is on an equal playing field so that was, a, that was a good game. Feel free to pause the video and analyse the video if you can get some, some strategies out because I know there are a lot of Cassians running around right now. Um, and they're the decks we all use. Notice how I took out the Wookiee Warrior and put in a Light Tank, which is next to K2SO there. And all the decks and levels are the same in 2v2. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I will see you in the next Star Wars Force Arena Let's Play video. May the Force be with you.